Wait, well, did you, you watch, shout did you watch that XFL game at the Mexican restaurant? No, we came back here to watch it. Uh, yeah, no, it, there's no possible way I'm going to be able to cut this episode up now. <laughs> Why? <laughs> We're just calling back to fucking 40 minutes ago. I know, the funniest thing is you can literally cut all this out and just like post yeah, it the yeah, next yeah. week. Yeah, cut it out. Just go, just go back to that and then have it. We're going to end it talking about the restaurant and pick it up right there. Right. Oh, oh, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, We've yeah, done yeah, worse. No. Good luck. Yeah, good luck. Definitely. Just fast forward through it. <laughs> I'm trying to I'm trying to, I'm trying to topic guys things. You're going to try to steer this ship? You know what's a good idea I that buffets. I just thought of? Hmm. What if we took this? Oh god! Right? I love buffets. And we go to Quaker Steak and Lube, <laughs> and we just like pop up in the parking lots, get some really loud motorcycles in the background to just drown us out. Mm. Let's do a show for five hours. We can mm. always go there on Super Bowl Sunday and have them put us in the way back where nobody can see us. Because that's a great decision. That was so smart, and they could put you under a car. That they have just randomly hanging up from the fucking ceiling where nobody can see you while you do a show. Sounds like you guys may uh, have some personal experience with this. Uh, just industry standard. Uh, <laughs> I remember very distinctly at Quaker Steak. <laughs> I've probably said this before. This mm-hmm. whole show is just a recap, guys. Yeah. Welcome to the clip show. Yeah. It's ridiculousness. Putting a wig on a pig. Wig on a pig, baby. <laughs> wig on a pig. I remember this one time. I was like, no, she's gone. Stop. You can't do that anymore. What? Yeah, she's she announced gone. that she's she's she not doing the show anymore. She's dead. Why isn't she doing the show? She doesn't want to. Because she's dead. Because she has her own life and identity why, outside why of her is he? Why is he getting so like fucking defensive right now? Because she's dead. Take, it, take a breath, bud. No. You're doing great. Wait, wow. but yeah, she is gone, right? Yeah, she, yeah, she announced like today or yesterday that she so was. So who's uh, replacing doing... her? I don't know, man. We we were talking about as yeah. we were leaving the studio. Stilo's just gonna laugh longer. Yeah, he's, he's just got to laugh longer and louder. <laughs> <laughs> I don't yeah, know how he laughs, time. but not. Stilo like... laughs. Stilo laughs. Stilo laughs. Stilo laughs. That's what he says. <laughs> or, That's what he says. Or I <laughs> elect. That's how he does it. I elect because Stilo has that little booth. Right mm-hmm. where he does the rewind, and it always looks really cool. Right. He just they give him a button. That's just Chanel's laugh. Oh. <laughs> I say they bring Big Cat on, and he says, hey, yo, I'm Big Cat. And then he has, like, the Diamond <laughs> Supply Co. Big Real quick, like, that's his I brand, really right? like that idea that Jordan has, though, because that's hilarious. I know. Rob, let's <laughs> like, talk. Like, could you imagine? He's <laughs> like, <laughs> he's like you know, real sad. You know, hit that laugh. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I need right now? This category is called Dolphin Laugh. <laughs> <laughs> what that what would she have sounded like? <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. What is your deal? What's wrong? What? I don't want to say anything. <laughs> like, I don't want I don't, I, I don't think that we just shouldn't talk about I just want, it. I just want to point out something real quick. Remember at the beginning when we had like a good little conversation going? Yeah, and that he, was actually going well. We were having on. a good conversation about something. And he purposely got up and turned the TV on and went, well, you guys with the TV on or not? So and that he can have Ned Flanders' so- dick on the screen during my fucking show. And then he's going to bitch at us. We go, hey, look this up real quick. And then he's going to, oh, yeah, don't speak script for great podcast. When he's the one who went out of his fucking way to turn the TV on. I did this for you. This was a gift. (laughs) This wasn't for them. They didn't have to know about this. This was for you. This was motivation for the show. Then why did you say you were putting it on if they didn't have to know about it? I didn't say I was putting it on. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Check the tape. Okay. When was the last time you saw Horton? And don't edit it out. When was the last time you saw Horton Here's a Who or never, The Lorax? I saw The Lorax for the first and only time about a month ago. Hold on, you've never Wait, seen really? Horton Here's a Who? Is I mean, that, is that how we started talking about that? Because yeah. you said that you had seen it recently? Yes. When the fuck did you watch The Lorax recently? About a month ago. Why? I was editing and Jules had it on the TV. Oh. Ah. And it was like right at the start of the movie and I didn't know what it was. And I just kind of, instead of like changing it, you just went it. along That's for the a, ride. It's a good movie. It's a good it's movie. Right. I like the Lorax. He speaks for the trees. Fucking yeah. Andy Bernard is the voice, right? Yeah. yeah. Is he? Yeah. How bad eh, 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 can I be? Yeah. Yeah. Illumination, though. We were talking about the Mario movie. What do you think about it? Be honest. Don't lie. Because I can tell when you're lying about the Mario movie. I wasn't excited. <laughs> That is the one power you possess, is yeah, being able to yeah. tell when people are lying about the Mario movie. The yeah. Mario movie! Pizza New York! They gotta have the pizza in the New yeah. York attitude. They gotta have the pizza attitude, baby. The Mario! 
we're walking here, clearly. I I, w- I wasn't psyched about it when we t- when we talked about the Mario movie three months ago. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't psyched about it. Yeah, and then I always I start because the only redeeming quality for me was Charlie Day being Luigi. I'm like, that's yeah. gonna be good, and Jack Black doing Bowser. I'm like, yeah. okay, cool. Yeah, I wasn't psyched about it. It started like to slowly be made, and I saw more come out about. It. I'm like, that's gonna be all right. You know, yeah. it's, it's not the end of the world. This yeah. it looks pretty good, and I'm back at the point now where it seems like. Only Jack Black and Charlie Day are invested in it. Ah, uh, I get Cause that. Because, like, even when they do sit-downs and shit, and, again, it could be, like, I don't know, it could be scheduling shit, right? Yeah. But, like, Seth Rogen, I have not seen talk about it once. <laughs> I feel like... And, again, I don't like Seth Rogen, but... Like, yeah, yeah. I haven't seen him talk about it once. <laughs> Chris Pratt seems very unenthused about it. Well, now, hold on. Chris Pratt's just like that in general, though. I, well, here's the thing. I think Chris Pratt saw all the flack on That's social fair. media and was like, okay, fuck you guys. I hate Mario. <laughs> fuck you guys. Uh, and I, like, I had a Sega anyway. Yeah, yeah, and like, yeah. <laughs> but like when, Sonic, you, bitch. when you hear Chris Pratt talk about movies, like he's always kind of just like, yeah. What is your obsession with yeah, Chris Pratt? Do you, you like you, Chris Pratt You a lot? dress That's up weird. like him in your free time? No, dude. Fan Expo was awesome. Did I you, went to Comic-Con. Did you kiss him? In Cleveland. Did and you I went to Star-Lord. Did you, did you kiss him? And it was dope. Did you so kiss him? So you kissed him. Does okay. Doug know? No, see the issue That's is interesting. <laughs> listen, I listen, I I I kiss Chris Pratt all the time. I call it kiss time with Chris. But listen, man, fuck you, <laughs> <I, no, laughs> man. That was my time. Guys, stop. Come on. But see, I was I took with down him. Flanders for this. <laughs> I was with him during the Parks and Rec days, so like I knew him when he was chubby, he was Chris. Fat. Mm-hmm. Um, and when he was just meme worthy. That's and when then... you guys were like, we're friends. Yeah, and then you know he got he got cast in Jurassic World, and then like it all changed, you know. I I um, definitely remember wasn't done talking, and it was just one of these where like it really hurt, you know, because um like we were friends. <laughs> anyway, and, like, we I were remember friends, friends. <laughs> and I was like, I I thought we were friends, <laughs> and and I guess we. Hey, Stilo, why don't you cut um, his mic off? <laughs> 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 I know I remember you guys hanging out a lot, and then he just wasn't around anymore. But then I, I saw him in Guardians. Yeah, and I thought you know maybe like you were well. No, out see, in we Hollywood were yeah. No, we were cool during Guardians. It was when Jurassic well, World the first hit. one anyway. Yeah, yeah, when Jurassic World hit, that's when like everything changed. Like he met Ron Howard's daughter, and he just became real cocky. I just I wish he would introduce me to Paul Rudd. So you're like so I brought okay for the. Mario movie. So the thing is, I brought up. I'm I brought relatively up, excited for the Mario movie. I I brought up you meeting Paul Rudd, and he said no. Yeah, that's why he's not welcome on the show. It's so not friend of the show. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> enemy of the show, Chris Paul, Pratt. Enemy uh, of the show. Unless he wants to call in. <laughs> yeah, no, fuck him. How many enemy of enemies of the show do you think we have? <laughs> By proxy, a lot. <laughs> After they hear us talking about all the local stuff, I can name a few states that we have enemies. <laughs> Dude, Arcan, Texas, or whatever the fuck it's called, that fake ass place. Why do you not believe Tex Arcan is a place? Yeah, it this- sounds just as made up as whatever I said. Philip Tucky, shut up. <laughs> Philip Tucky. There's one show, and I really hope it's not off air now. There's one show that has a decent following in Tex Arcana. <laughs> Whatever it is, wait, it's not fucking wait, real. What is it? Twilight Tex Zone. Tex Arcana. Tex, Texas Arcana? Is See, that's what I'm saying. What are, you, what are you saying? Texas, Arkansas, and Montana, those are three separate places, dipshit. Oh, dude, that's awesome. You can't combine three places and call it one. It's not, it's not Arcana, fucking ice Texas. cream. Look at, you want to use the dude, fucking Dude, that ice cream. Hold it's on. not Neapolitan no, ice cream. That's you want dumb, to use... idiot. I, hold on, I love that. You didn't know this? Have you seen this? Have you heard about this? Texarkana, not Texas, guys. Because it's not real. Dude, that's dope as hell. Yeah, it's got a little map. Hey, have you seen this? Have you heard about this? Not real. All right, Jimmy. Not a real place. Calm down. Go get Justin Timberlake <laughs> to do a, a, do a bit. <laughs> History of Hip Hop 3. Uh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I love this. I love this so much. Uh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Uh, uh, dude, we should make a oh tier God. list about fucking talk show. <laughs> <laughs> dude, that's right. We did that. And then never post it. Oh. Did we yeah. never post that? Nice. Hold on. For it was the, really boring. For the one year. <laughs> wait, like the whole list, none of it? Yeah. I, I think we started, like, we have a conversation about talk show hosts in an early episode, but before we actually went, let's rank them, we, we cut it. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Good. I don't I don't think we actually cut it, though. I feel like we made the list. I don't oh, think no. that we did. We physically did make the list, yeah. but it did. Did we make it? We tiered? Oh, yeah. No, we tiered it. 
We've tiered many things on this show. Well, do you have a copy of that list? I don't remember that at all. Somewhere, maybe. Is it on the computer Why that's in front of you? a copy of no, a tier list here. of our favorite talk show. I was going to say, dude, who does that? Who has that? It'd be funny to go back and like look and see what it what it looks like. You know, This guy's acting like it's our 100th episode anniversary. We've had 20. There have been 20 of these. <laughs> no, no, man. no. It's been going on for a year. That does not equate to 100 at all. <laughs> right. I didn't say that. No, no, no. No. In <laughs> fact, before we started recording today, you sat down I and did, went, yeah. what if we do this for the 100th episode? <laughs> yeah. I, okay. Well, I we, miss, we I got misspoke. 80 to go, so we I have time to think about it. <laughs> I misspoke, but either way, like it's been a year, so that's kind of dope. So what I'm hearing is uh, you were wrong. And you don't know how to do math. And you're stupid. And you can't read. No, I can read. And Chris Pratt left your ass. Chris Pratt left you and he hates you. He told me. And he's an enemy of the show now. So, you know. Paul Rudd doesn't even know you. Don't say that. He doesn't even Take know you. Back. No, but you Robert, know, you know, Robert Downey Jr. No, you, and Tobey Maguire do, though. No, they don't. Wait, they do? You know Spider Man? No, you don't. No, uh. Nope. No, Robert Downey Jr. hates you and he hates your stupid fucking bandana. That's your only thing. And, today, that, huh? and that dumb shirt. <laughs> What the shirt is that? The shirt got him. He I'm, not gonna, I'm not going to say enough. No, what does it say? No, because they listen. Does it? No. Oh. I love the shirt. <laughs> <laughs> if they listen, I love the shirt. It's great. <laughs> I mean, it's black. It's got gold on it. So, that's the best kind of shirt. Black with gold. <laughs> right. So I like the Saints. Yeah. Is it a band? Yeah. Are they good? Yeah. All right. Well, then hell yeah. Sea Shanties came back for a while, and that was a weird thing. I th- I never got on board with that. It seemed like that was a meme. Evan got on board with that pretty hard. Sea shanties. Yeah, they came back as like a people like like guys would sing. It seems like a guy like oh. we're men coming together singing <laughs> old sea shanties. Hey, real quick. But it was like funny. Um, on that topic, because it's very much of the same time. Yeah. Remember when fucking dudes just thought they were Vikings again? And that that was a cool thing. Like, oh no, dude, I'm I'm Scandinavian. I've got Viking culture and we're gonna go out and wear kilts and drink out of a horn. Dude. No one's impressed by I that. I don't. I You don't remember that? No. I know someone to this day who brags about like being part Viking and that he goes to these festivals and drinks out of a horn. And that's not something I, that impresses people. I knew someone who really liked to flex their like Nordic religion yeah. on, on me. And I was like, that's kind of that's a little weird. Wow. He was very he was very Viking. He was very Viking vibe. Were you ever envious of it? And I was just like, this is he, no, he's a little weird. Mm-hmm. I when was this? Uh, this was at for me. This was at Planet. Well, it oh, wasn't far. So this was, yeah, it was like maybe, yeah, twenty nineteen. Yeah, interesting. It's, it's a it's a thing. It's like, a thing that people have like. It's it's definitely one of those like subcultures yeah. that people fall into. You know, the 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 emo scene. I'm or really the punk glad scene I've never known a Viking. A Viking. <laughs> I yeah. I I missed I missed out on this. I wasn't. <laughs> I didn't. Men, men turn eighteen, and they're either emo or Vikings. You know, <laughs> you know? Yeah. that's what they say. No Damn kids these days. Cut my life into pieces. <laughs> what? <laughs> so he was in the Viking scene, obviously. No, uh, wow, dude, that's wild. I. It's wh- terrible. It's, it's. I don't think I knew. I like. I'm just. Never, you've never met a Viking. No, like I'm trying to wrap my head around. I this. really envy you. Like I would understand, like if you're at a Renaissance fair and somebody's walking around, like here ye. Vikings. No, like, it's, it's, there it's, I get it. It's those people. Yeah, but when they're not at the Renaissance. Yeah, yeah. But I'm not talking like they're dressed up like that day to day. They just like to talk about it a lot and think it's the coolest thing to everyone. Yeah. See, that's yeah. wild to me. Yeah. It's like imagine a Star Wars person, right? But with like Viking shit, yeah. kind of IRL. So like, so like if I if I just dressed up as Star Lord every day. No, 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 no not you even could. that. But like we're having a normal conversation now. It's like, yeah, you know. It reminds me of the time I was at this Comic Con and I was dressed like Darth Vader, and all these dudes started fucking lightsaber dueling with me. And you know, I've got my own lightsaber, and right. it's on my wall. And yeah, I had yeah. a custom built to Disney and just yeah, forever about Star Wars, about, yeah. but Vikings. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's. I mean, why don't they have that? Why? Why? You know what? It's a subculture. No, you know what? I think Irish people need to do that because I want to see people dressed up as leprechauns. I want there to mm. be a leprechaun. Leprechauns mm. real. So, was this? Yeah, a... they made documentaries in the '90s about them. Nope. There was this one that was going around killing people. The fairies and nymphs are real. Gilbob, yes. Zarlax of Nebulon Six. They're He's eating her. 
and then they're going to eat me. Oh my God. There was a, there was an episode of raw. No troll too. No. There was an episode of raw right. back in the day where Joe C was the guest and uh, edge and Christian met him backstage and they said, he's not a dwarf. He's a midget. <laughs> he's not a midget. He's an Ewok. <laughs> wow. Wow. That's rest in peace. Joe C. Two things. <laughs> First being, I got him. <laughs> WrestleMania goes Hollywood. Mm-hmm. That's coming full circle this week. Yeah, yeah. That's really yeah. coming full circle. Yeah, that's very, I, and I'm very glad about it. It's almost like they're in on it, and yeah. I feel like that's kind of not a bad direction yeah, to go. No. They're they're getting nostalgic for like the ruthless aggression era now. And it, it, I thought about it the other day. I know this isn't the question. I thought about it the other day, mm-hmm. but it's going to be weird that like within these next five years when they do old school Raw. It'll be like Batista. Yeah. And I'm like, <laughs> that's not, I don't like that. That would be weird. Especially because like old school Raw, like when we were younger and watched yeah. it, it was guys from like the 70s and early 80s. It was like, oh shit, Tatanka and Sergeant Slaughter well, and Pat like, Patterson even, are there. It like, it like, you had Bruno San Martino you walking had George out. George Steele, yeah. Right. And it's like, wow, dude, that's cool because like my dad watched those. Yeah. And now it's going to be like, ooh, I, 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 I watched, I watched them. That's well, I guess to I've be fair, <laughs> because of the steroids and concussions and alcoholism, everybody's like off of themselves. So selection's kind of low or their family. <sighs> nope. Wasn't going to second thing. <laughs> Have you guys heard of house Bula? Do you guys know who house? Bula yes. Is? That's my dude. Yes. Yes. Little guy. I yeah. just Little learned guy. about him. The Are other you talking day. about how he went at it with Tyson <laughs> and Tyson kissed him like a toddler? Yeah. He's yeah. 20 years old. Yeah. 19. 19 he's a, he's a grown man. Yeah. He's a grown man, like fully intellectually there. I think he's it's just crazy. small. Yeah. He just people like he's very famous. He like punches people in the face and yeah. it's funny. He's the he's the foreign version of Andy Milanakis. Mm, kind of, yeah. Andy Milanakis wasn't a, a little man. No, Andy Milanakis was but, like but he, 30, but he looked like he was 15. Yeah, yeah. That was the bit. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, that, yes and no. The, when he had the Andy Milanakis show, wasn't he like... I thought he was... He, he was in his 30s. Oh, he was? I think he so. He was? Yeah. Uh, no, he was on, older. Because that was on like... What, maybe I'm tripping complete nutsack. No, I'm, I'm that, with you. I'm with no, you. He's, he's, was that on public... Ac- like, yes. That was a public access thing? And then nice. MTV picked it up. And then... You guys okay. want to talk about public access for 30 minutes? No. Go off air and then so, debate <laughs> having a Roku channel? <laughs> no, Anyone because... Up the conversation? <laughs> no, he's in his 50s now. Really? Andy I'm, Milanakis I'm almost, in his 50s? I'm almost positive he's I, in I'm his 50s. I'm calling bull on that. Yeah, I don't believe cra- it. I mean, I could believe he's, or he's in like, his... Or he's like 48, 49. He's I could believe he's like 45 50. oldest. He's 47, 47 now. That's crazy, Andy, Andy M? Andy Milly? That's what I'm saying. Damn. So 17 years ago, he was in his 30s. It's my show, I'm Spandy Spillish Pockets. It's my show, I'm Andy Milanakis. <laughs>